हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जी एक्सप्लेनेशन सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ वीडियो फॉर अ क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन सो अगेन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क्ड बाय ए स्टूडेंट सो द क्वेश्चन इज राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड द लॉन्गेस्ट वर्ड इन ए सेंटेंस ओके सो ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्ट्रिंग सेक्शन Fine. So let us understand what the question is. So, for example, if I enter the string "Hello," okay, how are you? Hello, how are you? So it is going to. So our program should find the longest word. So you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six. This is of length six. One, two, three, three, and three. So you can see this. This hello is the longest string. So your program should be able to find this and print that. Uh, print that longest string is hello, and length of the longest string is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the concept. This is the idea of this program. So. how we can do this program is okay so first of all uh, we'll take a string okay first of all i think this is the idea this is the idea that we're going to use so first of all we'll take a string hello how are you and then we are going to after taking this string we are going to use loop okay and we are going to count the length of each word okay so we can use a condition whenever there is a space we are going to come out of the loop okay we are going to come out of the loop or we are going to come out of the condition certain condition we will be using and we'll calculate the length of we'll count the words so we can use a counter here and we can count the counter okay till the space doesn't come okay so we are going to count the word use the uh, the characters used in this particular word till the space comes okay so in every you can see here so we can count the number of characters in this word okay so again a space comes we come out of the loop again we are going there so we'll count the number of characters of this particular word again a space comes we come so in this way we can count the length of each word okay and we can keep a variable okay we can keep a variable maximum value whose value will be zero and we are going to compare okay so first of all we will count the character of this so it is 6 so it is 5 so we are going to compare is 5 greater than max if it is greater than we will assign the value of max as 5 again we are going to count the value of this so it is 3 is 3 greater than max no so max will be 5 only again this again this in this way the maximum you know largest word the length of the largest word be, word will be stored here okay so in that way we are we can find the length of this particular word and we are going to print the word again so i think there are you know three sections we can use for this code so i have already solved this code in dev c++ you can see this uh this is the particular word uh if i run this okay so enter the sentence so hello how are you fine so we can see that the largest word is hello and the length of the string is 5 okay so this is the program so let's go and uh, let us um, go and execute this code so i'll be explaining each uh, line one by one okay so here we are taking a string variable okay of course it will be of type character and the length is 200 and we also are considering a character variable or a string variable which is large word so here i'm going to store the largest or the longest word and so i'm considering the length as 50 you can consider more length if you want uh next i'm considering a counter okay so c is my counter and it is of type integer and the value of in slice is 0 again i am considering a variable max of integer type and again the value will be 0 because initially the maximum value is 0 After that, I have considered i and j for my looping, and I also considered the index whose value is zero. So this index is for the largest word. Okay, again we have to print the largest word. We have to store the largest word. 
okay for example hello how are you so we are going to store this hello in this large word so for that we will need a index so i am initializing the value of index as 0 and this is l okay length for the length of the string fine so let us read the string into a sentence and we are going to get the string so let us read the same string okay hello how are you fine so let's next step let's find the length of the string whole string so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 okay so it is 17 and it equals to 17 so we know that at the end of every string there is a null character known as slash 0 but no need to consider that while you are okay counting for the length fine so l is equals to 17 now i am considering the index as 0 now let's find the length of the longest string as i told in the theory part so let's find the length of the longest string as well as the starting index of that particular string of that particular word we can say so here the loop will start from i equals to 0 i less than 17 i plus plus fine so next this is the body of the loop okay inside that we have a if statement that is if a string i is not equals to space okay it means that till a space doesn't come we are going to count the number of characters okay so let's start so i value of i is 0 so string i okay so string 0 so you know that a string always starts from 0 so a string 0 it will represent h okay so h is this equal to space no so it comes inside the if condition and the counter is increased by 1 okay initially the counter was 0 so value of c becomes 1 again it will go to the loop okay as the condition is fulfilled it doesn't go to the else loop okay so again it will go to the loop mm, yeah i think this is inside the else but yeah so again it will go to the loop and the value of i becomes 1 so string 1 it is e fine so is it equal to space no again the value of counter becomes 2 similar way it will be get it will increase okay so the value of i becomes 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 okay so the value of i becomes 4 it becomes o okay the value of i becomes 4 it comes to o so o is equal to space no so the counter value it increase and it becomes 5 okay at it is 1 2 3 4 5 next is space fine so for this the value of i becomes 5 so when then the value of i becomes 5 it is the space one fine so string i that is string 5 which is equal to 1 2 3 4 okay a string one minute it is uh, 5 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 yeah so a string 5 this is nothing but a space okay so it is going to count the value of a space okay so is it not equal to a space no the condition is false fine so condition is false so here the counter value the value of count is 5 so it comes to else part so we are going to check the maximum value so initially the maximum value was 0 so is c greater than maximum that is 5 greater than maximum yes it is greater so we are going to assign the value of max at c hence the value of max becomes 5 and the value of index index become uh, i which is equals to 5 i think the latest value of i was 5 so i is 5 and max is also 5 hence the value of index is 0 only fine so this else part is executed and after that we are again going to this if part is executed again we are going to out of this if statement and then we are initializing the value of c as 0 and then this else part is executed so it goes to the for loop why it goes to for loop because we have to go till 17 but here the value of i was just 5 okay so we have to run the loop till the end in this way the value of i becomes now the value of i becomes 6 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it comes it comes to how now okay so h word fine so again now this will start from the counter value is starting from 0 so again it is going to count the length of this how word 
fine so in similar way as we run this uh, loop for this in similar way we are going to run the loop for this three times hence the value of counter becomes three and then this space comes okay so the moment this space comes it is going to else part and then now it is going to check is c greater than max no here three is not greater than max hence the max value is okay as it is if c is greater than max then only it goes to this body so the value of c is not greater than max hence it goes to here and again the value of c becomes zero so again the counter becomes zero for this one r fine so similar way we are going to run hence all other words are of length 3 hence at the end the value of maximum will be 5 only and the value of index will be 0 only fine so this code this portion of code in shared let's go to this code so here we are going to check okay if the last word because we are at the end we have lasted here only this is the last word so we are going to check if that last word is largest or not okay so for the last word the value of counter was 3 yeah the value of counter was 3 for the last word so we are going to check here is 3 greater than max and the value of max is 5 so no it is not greater so it is not going to the body part if it was greater it would have gone to the body part and it would have changed the value of max and index fine so our latest value of max is 5 and index is 0 only now here we are going to use the length and index okay and we are going to copy the longest word okay whatever the longest word that is hello we are going to copy this in large word okay so for this i am initializing a value of j equals to 0 and i equals to index okay so let us consider this for i equals to index which is equals to 0 i i is less than index plus max So index was zero and max is five, so it becomes five only, and then i plus plus. Fine. So here we are going to copy string i, okay? The value at the index is string i to large word j. Hence, large word j is zero. So large word zero at the place of large word zero, it comes string zero. Okay? So string zero is h. Hence, large word zero, the word h come. Again, the value of i increases, fine, and the value of j is increasing here. So, large word one, the string one will be copied. So, string one is e. Again, large word j, that is two. String two will be copied, that is l. For three, three will be copied, that is l. And for four, four will be copied, that is o. Okay, and the moment. it comes to the value of i becomes 5 we can say here the condition is less than 5 hence this is terminated fine so large word j we got the word hello okay so next we are going to insert and the value of j has increased to 6 okay sorry 0 1 2 3 4 the value of j has increased to 5 hence the value of j, latest value of j is 5 fine so next we are going to insert the null character okay so as we are uh, just taking out the word hello from the string so it independently become an string okay hence we have to terminate it okay we have to add a slash 0 we have to terminate it using slash 0 hence we will add large word j that is large word at five position fifth position we are going to put a value slash 0 this is used to this is used for terminating a string okay hence we are, we can print largest word is percentage as large word and print as the length of the largest word is percentage d max fine so in this way we can execute this word let us see once again okay i think uh, i think i have opened multiple uh, this terminals so let me see again okay so i thought hello how R U fine. So the largest word is hello, and the length of the string is five. Okay, so you have to execute this code very carefully. Okay, it's very minor, minor things are uh, we have to consider here. But I think this is the it is an easy concept. Like we have to find the length, and then we have to count the maximum word, and then we have to 
copy the longest word okay fine so i hope uh, you got this code uh, stay safe thank you and keep sharing our videos